throw in two-tone blue. In this case, sexy blue. Oh, my God, man. What are we looking like? A fucking, man, an icicle or something. We looking pretty today. Wow. Look at that color. Prettiest jersey I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Hopefully all the Texans fans show up tonight. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I want to congratulate everybody who's been hanging out in the channel lately. Subscribing. We have passed 13,200 after just hitting 13,000 not that long ago. So shout out to everybody. This channel is booming. Again, the interactions and everything is what this channel is about. This is what it's about. And we're going to continue to have these great live streams and talk about great topics every single day. We're going to put a... Uh, we're going we're gonna to put the good old monster over there. Uh, we're going to continue to let people get in and take their seats. Uh, and before we uh, get started, we're going to say what's up to everybody and read the poll. Today, everybody answer the poll. Make sure you guys get to the poll. Trust me, you're going to want to. Um, should the Titans trade back in the 2024 NFL draft? We've got nine votes right now. We've got to hit that 100 mark. That's the goal, 100, 100 per poll. Uh, 100 per poll. we got to at least get there. We've been dominating that. Um, we've got 10 votes, 20% says yes, 70% says no, 10% says unsure. Uh, we're going to be breaking that down. I want everybody to hit that damn comment, that comment section right now. I want your, your opinions right now. Do you want to trade back? Yes, no, why the circumstances? And we're going to go into a lot of them and just talk about everything. So let's say what's up to everybody real quick. I appreciate everybody. Uh, again, Michael, I appreciate Michael for doing that. Um, Telling everybody to subscribe and everything. If anyone's feeling uh, generous uh, from rewatching this or watching it right now, uh, Cash App is Money Sign Titan Anderson. Send a message. We'll read it out loud and post it on the community page. Thank you guys for all of the help. Donations are always accepted and, and very helpful towards the channel for upgrades. Uh, let's say what's up, Michael M., of course. Um, everybody, Billy Scott, uh, Lady Titan, the sexy wife, uh, Titanis, no real Titan fan should say yes on that poll. Cat Nelson, hey, TA. Uh, Titanus says, what's up, TA? Congrats on 13.2. We did it, fellas, and we're going to continue to grind it out and have these fun-ass live streams. It doesn't matter where we're at. Like I told you guys, you, we don't need to be in the Blue Dungeon to be able to talk Tennessee Titans. That's weird, bro. We should be able to talk anywhere. I mean, the next one might, like I said, the next one might come from aisle 14 at Target. You know what I'm saying? It might just happen. It might just happen. Uh, avoid the Titans fan says taking my seat right now. What's up, everyone? Hey, hey, before hey, what do you guys think about uh about um Blake Corum out benching, dude? Like that's crazy. Like Joe, like Joe Alt, are you kidding me? Uh Joe Alt literally, what was it like this? That's like how does that happen? But I told everybody Corum's a fucking monster, dude. And um, you know, there's a little bit of signs that are like is is he it just sucks because you don't want to even think about it because that's one of the left tackles that you're thinking about drafting you're like is he not strong like what's going on and shit but that running back man quorum is a beast man don't let it don't let that fool you don't let that fool you the question is though should the titans trade back should the titans trade back fellas should the titans trade back my answer is no unless and we'll read it and we'll go over that soon um, Big Dog says we should not trade back. Billy Scott in the building. Stoner Titan says it's very possible, dude. I mean, Vikings, Broncos could trade up for a quarterback. And A, bro, the price is heavy this year to trade up. Just, ooh there's a lot to go over, fellas. There's a lot to go over. We're going to have some fun tonight. Michael M., my guy, man. Uh, Karen, uh, or Kaysen, sorry, says, hey, TA, congratulations on the 13. Hey, man, 13.2, and we're climbing, bro. We're trying to catch that 14, man, that 14. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Uh, Kaysen, Michael M., I appreciate you guys always. Randall says, if both Alt and Neighbors is gone, absolutely. Uh, you know, there's also talk that, uh, you know, Will Levis might want to might wanna be thrown to a Marvin Harrison Jr., you know, we're going to be talking about that. Not today, but we will be talking about that. Like I said, we have so much to go over, you guys. Uh, it's endless over here, and we're going to continue to have the best, most fun conversations. We're just about to hit the five-minute mark. People are still taking their seats, and I can't wait till we hit that about 15, 20-minute mark when everyone's in, and that's where we're going to start firing away on all the rapid-fire questions and answers where, where we don't hold back, and y'all don't hold back. 
We're going to have a fun night today, you guys, and we're talking everything Tennessee Titans, everything free agency, NFL draft, combine, everything. Should, but, but specifically, the main thing is should the Tennessee Titans trade back? And, and, and let's, let's think about this for a second. What if Marvin Harrison Jr., Neighbors, and Alt are all gone? Are you seriously telling me that if somebody says, hey, we got a first, or we'll, we'll switch you our first, and then like a second, a third, and maybe something else, maybe something else? But I mean, think about it. We can get our thir a third back, their second, and still get something. I'm not sold with sitting there at seven and taking Rome. So many people are. I'm not. I don't want another bigger receiver. Yeah, he can move for his size, but we need complete quickness. Burst. Boom. That's what we need, fellas. Like, what, what don't people get about that? And then a lot of people don't even want Brock Bowers. I'm just like, dude, what? And people are so, and are, people are okay with Chig. Like, oh, yeah, he was great in the, in the second half of the season. No, no, he wasn't. He was better. He dropped balls still all the time, every game. Are we serious? I hope he could, gets better. I hope this his trajectory keeps going this way. I hope so. And again, I don't. I'm not saying I want to take Bowers at seven, but for all the people saying that that's a no go for whatever, like that's crazy, bro. That dude is a legitimate weapon, not even just as a tight end, bro. That's crazy to me. Uh, let's see, Titan South says, can you imagine Marvin Harrison Jr., D-Hop, and Ridley? <laughs> I mean, that'd be crazy, right? We, we have the uh, we had the live stream. Um, before the news broke out, the night before this Ridley news broke out, I did a live stream about Ridley possibly coming to the Tennessee Titans. It was a great show. If you guys missed it, make sure you guys check it out. Um, but like Titan South says, can you imagine Marvin Harrison Jr., D-Hop, and Ridley? That's fucking impressive, bro. And I keep telling people, go watch Will Levis's highlights. When he has time, he looks like a superstar quarterback ready to rip up the league for fucking 50 touchdowns. Go watch the film. Don't believe me. Don't like me. Don't care. But at the end of the day, the film is facts. Go watch it. When he has time, he's fucking lethal. Lethal Levis, man. We just came up with another fucking nickname. Lethal Levis and Willie Rocket. Don't let him get going, bro. And you give him those type of go-route killers? Traylon Burks in his back pocket? Man, that could get serious, bro. Um, let's see. Void says, don't trade down. Uh, Lone Star Titan says, neighbor looked so depressed in that video that showed him matched with us. Hey, man, that was crazy, bro. A lot of people keep talking about that, how neighbors is like, they're like, oh, he doesn't want to play for you, blah, blah, blah. He'll play wherever he want to, like, wherever he's drafted. You think he's not going to? He, like, seriously, like, come on, bro. Like, I'm not looking too much into that. Like, honestly, I'm just, I'm just not going to. But I thought it was funny. Clearly, he he must not like Tennessee or want to go there. But um, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that if he comes here, he's not going to want to try and play for us. That's crazy, bro. You think? I mean, I don't even know. You think Will Levis wanted to play for the Titans? Actually, probably just to piss off the Vol fans. <laughs> probably, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Big Dog says, "Get some beer and just chill." Hey, there you go. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, a big dog says speed. Yes, we need speed. That's what I'm saying, bro. Uh, Titanus says, I'd rather have Marvin Harrison Jr., but if Neighbors is open, I'd take him. Hey, well, it's going to get crazy, bro. It's going to get crazy. I can promise you that. Um, let's see. Awaken says, I got alt uh, fashion at number seven. Brandon Rice, wide receiver out of UFC at 38. And I'm going to be honest. If, if Awaken, if you're stuck on getting a tackle, honestly, if you're stuck at getting a tackle, bro, um, I think your best bet would be to, uh, I think all obviously over Fashionu. Uh, Fashionu looks great though. Uh, Brendan Rice will be there. Brendan Rice. I mean, people reach all the time, right? But I, I believe Brendan Rice will be there at 38. Do we want Brendan Rice at 38? I personally don't. Um, but, um, I think we gotta have, we're gonna have to wait and see who's going to be there because at that, at that, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. If you don't get your receiver in the first round, you better have an early ticket in that second round because receivers are going to be popping out like teenage pimples. It's going to be fucking ridiculous. It's going to be like Pop Rocks thrown inside Coca-Cola and Mentos at the same fucking time. You ain't going to like it. So you better have your fucking Willy Wonka golden ticket ready to purchase a receiver and ready to go. Tennessee Titans, sign one up now. We need somebody, bro. 
If we don't sneak somebody out, if one of those receivers are not there in the first round, you take your tackle, you take your tackle or trade back. If that tackle that you are not happy with is if, if you're not happy with that, just trade back. Somebody's going to want a quarterback. Somebody's going to want to take a, a chance at JJ or, or fucking Daniels or something like that. Somebody's going to. You know, Broncos already shit the bed, no diaper. They need a quarterback. They'll probably want to trade us up, uh, trade up with us. There's a lot of teams that are going to want to trade up with it, probably. A lot of teams are fucking up out there. We have a lot of money to spend. We got some draft picks. We've got uh, our franchise quarterback. We got the, the the anchor to our defense. We've got the coaches under, under, uh, under wraps. Everything's good to go. We're ready to go. We just got to fill in some of those those uh, those talent depth spots. Titans gonna be ready to go, baby. I love it, bro. I love it. Uh, Randall says if Alt and Neighbors are gone, trade back to around eleven. Try to get Bowers at eleven and have a few extra picks. I, and think about it, you guys. If we trade back, right? If we're not happy, if those top three guys are gone, and I want to make that clear again, I only want to trade back if Marvin Harrison Jr. Malik Neighbors and Joe Alt are gone. If all three of those guys are gone, I'll trade back to one of those quarterback reaching hungry uh, NFL teams easily. You can still get one of those top tackles. I mean, Mims looks great. Uh, there's fucking uh, uh, Latham looks great. Um, they both should be there easily. Uh, Bowers should be there easily. Hell, Rome, I don't like him too much, but I'm sure he'll. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's, there's, he's all over the place right now. Some people have him high as hell. Some people have him. It's weird as fuck with him. Um, but there's a lot of options, bro. There is a lot of options for the Tennessee Titans to do. Um, and we have, we have many, many things to, to figure out. Uh, the free agency is going to, you know, tunnel vision everything for us, like I've been mentioning. Um, and then once all those pieces are plugged in, it's time to focus on the NFL draft and figure out where the fuck we're going with this. Because clearly we have to be able to block, but clearly we have to, we have to be able to spread the field and 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 have those receivers get past that initial burst. We have to. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm getting your guys. I'm put, pushing the thing back down to the bottom. Appreciate everybody, man. We got 40 people watching. We got 40 people watching. Hey. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? But yeah, Randall, to go back to what you're saying, Randall, I think so, bro. I, I'm completely okay with that. I'm completely okay with that. Um, I really want neighbors. Obviously, Marvin Harrison Jr. Will Levis, Will Levis wants Marvin Harrison Jr. too. He's already mentioned it. He says he catches everything, and he does. He has no flaws, zero. Um, man, I can just imagine that combination. Wow, that would shake up the whole NFL draft. Will Levis to Marvin Harrison Jr. for the next fucking 10 years. Jesus. Lethal Levis. Lethal Levis, fellas. That guy. Lethal weapon. No, it's Lethal Levis, bro. Gonna get the shirts printed out now. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. Uh, Titanus says, Neighbors definitely has preferred teams like any player, but once he's he's here, he'll play for us. And that's what I'm trying to explain to people. I wouldn't worry. any. I wouldn't even worry about that. I wouldn't even worry about that. I would be like, it's all right, bro. Like, seriously, it's all right. No big deal. No big deal. Make sure you guys hit that like button, man. Hit those three dots in the corner. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we just hit 13,200, and we're continuing to flow all the way up. Tennessee Titans daily content, fellas, every single day. Don't forget to hit the Discord. We have mods put in the Discord link in the bottom. 24-7 Tennessee Titans football, and we talk football in general. We talk football, man. We talk everything, literally everything, food, other sports, every single thing but tennessee titans obviously is priority uh void okay where are we at where are we at okay i see okay i'm gonna get to big dog sorry i didn't i wasn't try i'm trying not to skip any of you guys but there's a lot of y'all man there's a lot of y'all uh big dog says levis is gonna be even scarier once he starts getting more time to pass the ball i'm telling y'all go watch the highlights of when he's out there working when he has that time even when he don't have time, he's making dimes. It's crazy, and they're all on time. It's precision. It's it's beautiful. It's quick release. It's it's uh it's competitive. He has everything you could possibly want in a starting quarterback. Size, everything, everything. So you, we give him a shield, a bigger wall, a bigger blocking uh, up front for him to be able to do his thing. We're gonna do work, bro. We're gonna do work. Uh, Titanus says, "I'm surprised that Levis got almost 2k yards off." 
of like six games with the worst offensive line and a bad receiver core, insane player. And people don't even realize that or see that. Let me try to get the Derrick Henry thing on camera a little bit. Like that's disrespectful. A lot of people already want to get rid of him. So we might as well have his, his signature on screen. Ridiculous. Um, but yeah, Titanus, I think it's so, it's impressive. How the hell did he do that? How the hell did he, look at what Derrick Henry did. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. Bring our guys back. Bring back the guys that we know can still play. And I, I'm going to be honest. I'm for bringing back Danico Autry. I don't care if he's 113 years old. You keep bringing up sacks like that and 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 being that type of leader, that type of um, – I mean, you could hear the mic'd up moments, you guys. People are clearly following him. He's a clear leader on this team, clearly. And, he's, and, and, and when his time is done here, he's going to go down as one of the top five easily. In my opinion, I'll probably have to make a list, but a top five greatest, greatest pickups in the free agency the Titans ever, ever had. Every single year, consistency. Every single year, causing fucking havoc down the middle. I mean, chasing quarterbacks. Everyone's like, the Colts don't want to pay him. Cool, come over here. You know what I'm saying? People thought we'd get maybe a year or two out. Nah, bro, he is dominating with us. Literally dominating with us. Him and Jeffrey Simmons have been a duo and continue. Hopefully this continues because I don't want him to go. I would love for him to stay. But again, man, and we got the money. So we'll see what he wants to do. We'll see what he wants to do. But because I think he, I think, I think he's still got some left. I'm not, I'm just going to be honest. I think he's still got some left. Let's see. Uh, Void the Titan fans says, I'm more worried about the offensive line position because how are we going to give our wide receivers time to run their routes and get open if we don't have a good offensive line? That's a fact, man. That's a fact. But um, you also got to be able to keep people out of that box. And if you don't have any weapons, any guys that can run down the field really fast and scare those guys that are pressing down up close, um, it's going to be some issues. So it's a little bit of give and take. You got to figure out what's best for your team and what you're trying to do offensively. Once you figure that out, things are pretty much going to be greenlit and you're going to be able to score finally 30 points in a game. Uh, Titanus says, I'd honestly take Alt or Fashino and take Rice at 38. I'm, I'm okay with Fa I, I already told you fashion has been growing on me. Uh, Rice, I, whoa, it depends who's there at 38. It depends who's there at 38. Because if we definitely take a tackle, uh, if we take a tackle in the first, then uh, receivers definitely come in, in the second round. And uh, I want to see who's available with him. Because I don't hate him. I don't dislike him. I'm just not the biggest on, on him. I I uh I want to I want to be able to see who's available at 38. And if if we take tackle in the first round, it's gonna be interesting to see who's available. But I'll tell you one thing: everybody, like I said, is gonna be going after those receivers in that fucking beginning of that second round, like it's fucking Black Friday. I promise you. So you better be ready. You better be ready. You better be ready. Uh, Void the Titan fan says Dra draft all over neighbors. That's what I'm going with. Hey, man, if they're both there, that's still a possibility. Titans could still take all over neighbors. That's that's a, that's a, a for sure possibility. Uh, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad about it at all. If we have an option of getting them both, that's a win win for the Titans. I just want to get one of those two uh, along with um, obviously Marvin Harrison Jr., which seems almost impossible. One percent to ninety nine, like literally. But I'm not I if we have the option, to, I just want to get one of them. So if they're both on the board and it's like. Oh, T.A., you're going to get mad if you you know, if you know get this guy. No, fuck no. I'm going to be jumping for joy. We got Joe Alt to play next to Peter Score. That's what I'm talking about. That would be a crazy-ass left side for Will Levis to grow for the next 10 years, literally. It would be amazing. That being said, neighbors learning from, uh, from D-Hop, those two at the same time, that's fucking vicious. And you can still get some of those, those guys in the second round. Uh, in, at the left tackle position that are still big, really good blockers. Um, there's, <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I love this, man. This is so fun because we have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, I mean, all it I mean, there's so many teams in front of us that, that need quarterbacks that we don't know who the fuck they're going to take. We don't know how high some teams may have. I mean, obviously, there's teams that have certain quarterbacks graded higher than the other ones. It just depends, bro. Look at the sorry-ass Panthers. They took Bryce Young. He's trash. He is a McDonald's straw-sized quarterback that can't throw longer than 40 yards. It's crazy. They have no first-round pick and no money. Like, what is going on? Well, they're freeing up some. But, like, this is crazy to me. 
Y'all, 73 watchers, you guys. Only night 20, not even 20 minutes in. You guys, let's go. Let's get 100 plus people in here. Like, what are we talking about, you guys? We got a lot going on right now. Tennessee Titans, NFL Combine, free agency, everything is popping in the blue dungeon. Man, oh man, I just can't wait to get this going. Free agency needs to hurry up so we can talk. All these players coming in, like, look at all these people getting tagged and fucking all, like, it's it's like, and not getting, to, and, and like, bro, let go and release. It's like, what is going on, bro? Nobody wants to pay a running back anymore at all. That's what I'm saying. It's like, come on, Derek. Nobody's going to pay you anything, really. Come to the tight. Come back home. Come back home. TA wants to see you in LA. TA wants to see you in LA. Come on, man. Come on. Resign the king. Keep the king. Hashtag keep the king. We need king and king and Ty J together, bro. The king and the barber. I love it, bro. Yeah, Calvin Ridley, you guys. We talked about it before. How are you guys feeling about that? Uh, Stoner Titan says, how do you feel about Alt at pick seven and Xavier Leggett at 38? Not big on Leggett. I'm not, not going to lie because he's another one of those bigger receivers that, yeah, he can hit his top speed and he's fast at his top speed. But I want quicker guys, guys that are just impossible to get in the open field. We need somebody like that now. We need somebody really fast, like, like, like serious speed. That's what we need. We need serious, serious speed and he and quickness. We need a like, like one of those guys. We don't have that. We need somebody that's like, oh my God, like you can't get you can't get him one on one. It's impossible. And if you and if you want to press him and he runs right by you, it's a touchdown. We need one of those guys. Leg it takes a second for him to get his speed. He's bigger. He's not gonna be as agile. I don't know, man. I'm just not big on him. I'm just not big on him. Again, if, if we take him, we take him. He could be another weapon. You know, maybe a I don't know, man. Maybe what we thought Racy McMath could have been for us, something like that, possibly. I don't know, bro. I'm just not digging it, though. I don't know, bro. Awaken says, I feel like Titans could trade up for Brendan Rice early on day two, just like last year with with Levis. I'm, again, if, if if Brendan Rice is there, um, I don't think we need to trade up anything. I, I just think there's going to be enough receivers at 38 to pick whoever we want. Um, there's going to be some people there still left. There's got to be. If 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 that's where we're going in the second round, assuming we take left tackle, we're gonna be okay, guys. We gotta get it, man. We almost got 80 people watching, bro. Let's get it on. Everybody hit that thumbs up though. Hit that right little fucking thing right up here where my finger is. Hit that fucking three dots and hit that thumbs up, you guys. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Daily live streams, talking football, talking Titans, talking NFL combine, the draft, everything, free agency. Every single day, you guys, man. Make sure you guys subscribe. We recently passed 13,200 and are climbing fast. All right, man. He said Willy Wonka. Good movie, bro. <laughs> I've only seen the original one, bro. If you if you can, I swear to God, like, I've only seen the original. I've not seen the Johnny Depp one and, and, and like the 42 other ones made after that. I ain't seen none of them. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Willy Wonka, man. Hell yeah. Who doesn't like some chocolate, right? Hell yeah. Uh, Titanus says, I don't, like, I don't only take Rice if we sign Ridley. Again, man, we're going to bring somebody in, in the free agency, obviously. We're going to bring somebody in uh, through the draft, and 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 then they're going to pair with D-Hop. That'll be the formidable three. And then we'll have uh, Traylon Burks as our fourth. That, that can, third, third, fourth, third, and fourth can kind of swap in and out, whatever. Four men receive five wide anyway. There's going to be t opportunities for a lot of receivers to be out there, uh, but we need them all out there to do their job, and we need them all out there to uh, – to go down the field to make plays um obviously we need more help we just hit 80 people watching at that one point so i gotta give a shout out to that man we're still trying to hit that 100 uh, for a non-live titans game we've very rarely done that only when we had guests so continue to hit that like com comment and subscribe man uh it's crazy it's crazy but uh i tell you what man if, if we go let me tell you something if we go left tackle first if we go left tackle first in the nfl draft um i think we'll have a few a few uh options um at the receiver spot otherwise i think we should um if we're not again if we're not happy at uh when we're sitting there at seven with whoever's left you got to trade back man trade back get that extra pick because we're missing our picks because we're missing we got 86 watchers let's go because we're missing the third round pick we can get that shit back again on, I, I i'm only they, they say in love right i'm only in love with those three draft picks that's it that's it 
Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, and Joe Alt. Those are the three that I want to be on my team. That's it. Not that I don't want anyone else. I just, with a seventh pick, that those are the three that I want to add to my team. Um, if they're all unavailable, if they're all unavailable, I'm trading back, bro. I'm trading back. I'm getting more picks. I'm getting more picks. We'll still get somebody really good. Guaranteed, bro. You telling me you can't get a Mims or a Latham? They're still really good. Really good. Solid ass receivers you can take in the mid and late first round. Easily, no doubt in my mind. What about Thomas, bro? The other LSU dude? Bro, 6'4", running four, low four threes? Come on, bro. There's options. Like I said, man. Like I said. What's up, man? You okay? Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> baby ta trying to come on and say what's up no oh, it's okay baby. all right man here we go shout out to the monster man look at this shit bow man the blue monster greatest drink in fucking sports make sure you guys get that poll let's check in on the poll real quick we got 80 people watching shout out to you guys man let's get it going should the titans trade back in the 2024 nfl draft 48 percent yes 36% no, 16% unsure. So again, man, uh, a lot of people are saying yes, which is pretty insane. Pretty insane. Wow. All right, bro. Let's get to this. Let's get to this. He said, I watched Wonka and Dune. I've never seen Dune either. I don't know, bro. It looked weird to me. A lot of people like it, though. A lot of people like it. All right, man, let's get to this, man. I appreciate everybody. Remember, you guys, I'm Titan Anderson. Do live streams all the time. Make sure you guys subscribe. Get that like flowing. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, and join the Discord as well. We've got a Discord 24-7 football talks, man. Uh, my mod's got it pinned and posted all throughout the, the messages. Every once in a while, you guys see it, man. So make sure you guys check it out. I love it, bro. I love it, bro. All right, let's, let, let's try to get to it, bro. Let's try to get to it. He just helped the house, baby. Yeah, baby TA is good, bro. Lone Star Titan says, Rome might be a gym. I'd roll with him if Neighbors is gone. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I can't do Rome, y'all. I just can't do it. I just don't think he's... I just... I can't do it, bro. If we get him, I'll support him and stuff. I hope he fucking shuts me up. I just can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Lone TA, he would be all right. Um, Big Dog, I'm going to forever miss Derrick Henry. Stop saying that because Derrick Henry didn't go nowhere. Uh, Void, the Titans fan, says, call me crazy, is stupid, delusional, but Brian Thomas Jr. over Rome. I, I, I would, too. I would, too. I would take Thomas over Rome. I just think he's better. I just think he's better. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Just pick him up. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., Nah, no, nah, but um, I'm gonna be honest though. Like I said, Brian Thomas Jr. over Rome. What do you guys think in the comment section? Put it in the comment section below. Rome, if if it's between or who would you take, Rome, or or Thomas Jr. Like who would you take? I I would rather take Thomas. He's faster, quicker, um, taller. He's not as strong, obviously, but I mean, we need go route guys. Rome can, but I, he's faster than Rome. Clearly, quicker than Rome. Clearly. Um, he does, he'll jump for 50, 50 balls. I like that style. I just like that more. I just, and it's different. We already have a big guy that can move kind of fast. Everyone needs to, everyone keeps forgetting that Traylon Burks is a first round pick and everyone can say, yeah, but he hasn't really done anything. Are you kidding me? Like, like, yeah, when he's hurt, he's hurt all the time, but look at the plays when he's healthy. He does do nice plays, 70 yard catches, uh, you know, catches across the middle, um has he lived up to his his pick fuck no hell no but he, he's shown that he has talent he's working with d hop right now they're going to to be able to use him as a fourth guy and and just a a role gadget guy to be able to help the team we need other guys that that bring a different skill set than that personally i think i i just think that rome is too similar to Traylon burks in my opinion we don't need that we need guys that are quicker way quicker than that I would take, I would, I'm just, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all would do. Y'all tell me what, uh, Void says, uh, Brian Thomas is a secret gem, dude. He's a, he's a beast, bro. Like for real, he's a beast. 
Yeah, Tom is six foot four, two hundred and five pounds, four three four forty. That I mean, that's crazy numbers, bro. That's crazy numbers. Uh, Stevie says, resign Henry, one to two year contract, take wide receiver in the first. What? In the, uh, I'm not sure. First round, O line. Okay, first round. Okay, it's just you put one T, one DT. I was like, what is that? Okay, so he's saying resign Derrick Henry to a one year contract, take wide receiver in the first round, offensive line in the second. Build the rest of the O line and free agency. Oh yeah, resign Byard back in the safety. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna respectfully decline to the Byard thing. I think that would be just moving backwards. Um, even even when we traded him, he had uh, one pick last season with us, and it was off like a like a tip. It was off like a tipped pass. It shouldn't have even like like you know what I'm saying. And I'll do respect, but I just don't know what how or how much he has left. And I, I just don't want to move backwards. I don't think Derrick Henry's moving backwards because there's he didn't show any sign of declining at all, at all. So that's a different situation. Way different situation. Uh, Titanus says, do you think Thomas would be there at 38? No. No, Thomas Thomas won't be there at 38. No, it's just not going to happen. Uh, Void says, Brian Thomas Jr. had 1,177 reception y- uh, yards, what, 17 reception touchdowns. Uh, still still with the second best wide receiver in the draft on his team, Malik Neighbors. See, that's true, too. A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people don't realize that. Steve Burleson says, I think Titans need to take Brock Bowers. We'll see, bro. Everyone like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you guys do all that fun stuff, man. We've been killing it, man. It's been a crazy-ass stream. This is a stream that we're going to reach 2K views easily. I, I, I can feel it, man. Get those subscriptions up as well. Uh, we're closing in on 13,300. You guys can help us get there if you guys hit that thumbs up and you guys continue to subscribe. Hit that bell on for notification alert so you guys know when TA is going live. Uh, Titanus says Packers had a crazy uh, season turnaround. Yeah, they did. Packers had a good one. Uh, Peyton says, I live on Mars. That's cool, man. Let me know how Elon's little rover thing is doing up there. Uh, I appreciate it, man. Uh, Steven, Steven says trade up to get Bowers and Alt in the first round. That's interesting. That's an interesting thing to say. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. He said, I don't got a golden ticket. What's up, Saucy? How you doing, bro? Uh, Titan South says, I hope we get a lockdown safety in the fourth. I hate it when we get beat on the deep ball. Yeah, man, we've had some issues, bro. Uh, when we lost Bayard, we had issues, obviously. Um, that's why we got to figure out if, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe look at you guys that that's where the money comes into play. That's where we got to go out there and spend that money. We got to go out there and spend that money and bring in some guys. I think right it, right there is a time to bring in, uh, bring in somebody with some, some experience maybe, uh, and see how that works. Just, uh, kind of look at, look at, look at who's out there, go out there and, 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 you know, make some offers, but don't overpay because we need a lot, man. We need a lot. Let's go, man. He says, talk when you guys win a Super Bowl. Oh, God. Another one of those guys. I remember my first beer. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep up with all you guys. You guys have a lot of comments, man. You guys are killing it. I appreciate you guys, bro. I appreciate you guys. We're just getting to it, man. He says, we'll love this all day. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Uh, Billy Ray says, would you rather have Will Levis or take a chance? Will Levis over Jaden Daniels or Bo Nix? Are you kidding me? What that's is that for real? That has to be a troll. That's ridiculous. Those guys aren't even on the same level as Will Levis. Uh, Void says that CJ Gardner and Will Levis energy would be wild. Yeah, I mean, CJ Gardner Johnson, man, he got it. He, he, that could work too. That could work. I see Prod says Titans trade DeAndre Hopkins and Jeffrey Simmons for picks and young core. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's definitely not happening. Stop spamming that shit though. Someone put them on timeout if you do that again. We don't need to be spamming, man. Let's keep it. Let's keep it 100. <clears throat> Awaken says the Titans are not trading back in the first or second rounds. They need generational talent now, maybe in the later rounds since they need more draft picks. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, I, I, it's going to be interesting to see the Titans sitting there. And um, if all those three guys that I really like are all gone, I'm get, it, that's when we're really going to sit there and say, okay, now it gets interesting. 
because if Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, and Joe Alt are all gone and we're sitting there at seven and we're not happy with who's left, do we pick or do we trade back? That's the biggest thing right now. Do we pick or do we trade back? Crazy, bro. Just crazy. Steven says Rome looked awful. Uh, Billy Ray says, not a Titans fan, but I don't trust Will Levis. I could tell you're not a Titans fan. Trust me. A lot of people saying Thomas. That's what I'm saying. Thomas got a lot of love, man. People people digging it. Uh, Awaken says, expect Tennessee to sign Mooney. I mean, as a as an extra backup player, or, you know, I wouldn't mind that. He's a, he's a gadget guy for sure that can move, dude. He can move. Not big on him. I'm going to keep it 100, but but it is what it is. Uh, Void says, I'm not skipping on a six foot four, 205 pound receiver with a thousand receiving yards and 17 receiving touchdowns. With he is not happy, he is not happy. Um, it's one of the biggest receivers of this team. Yeah, just pick him up. Yeah, he's not happy, he's not feeling good. Yeah, Thomas Jr. is a gym, but he'd probably be. Took it in, dude, I think he's gonna go early, early, like, like, uh, I don't think he'll be there in the second round. I think he'll go late first. I, um, don't be surprised if, if he goes mid first and somebody really reaches at him because the fact that he runs four three is fucking insane. It's insane. Big dog says, put Xavier Worthy as our punt returner, he would take that to the house. Hey, man, he'd bring some excitement, bro. But he ain't no number seven draft pick. Fuck no. Too damn small. Crazy. Big B says, I think the Titans should disband and help fund other teams, to be honest. I think that you have no life and you sit there and fucking dip your Cheetos in milk. That's what I think you do. <laughs> uh, Randall says, Henry had 1,200 yards with the worst O-line in the league. He was getting hit three yards behind the line of scrimmage. That's a fact, bro. That's a fucking fact. Get those likes up, fellas. Everybody subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Titan Anderson, man. We You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. I love y'all, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, J-Bo says, yo, Henry needs to stay. I hope so, bro. I hope so. Like, for real, I hope so. We'll see, though. Uh, Frank from Texas says that Houston Oiler is drip. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, man. We even got the... The red, the red pants on for you know what I'm saying. Bring out that red. I love it, bro. Uh, P Dizzle says, "What do you think about Justin Fields? He's terrible. He is so terrible." Yeah, I'm trying to get back to. Uh, okay, I caught up a little bit. Cool, man. I appreciate that, you guys. Appreciate that. Get that like button flowing, fellas. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Uh, Stoner Titan says, I do like how Rand Carthon was straight out like it's not going to be easy to fix the Titans. And he's done a great job since. Like literally since he's got here, he's done a great job. Uh, is he, has he been perfect? Nobody can be perfect. It's impossible. But he's he's been way better than we've... I mean, he came in here and changed so much, man. And so much needed to be changed. Like what we were doing ran its course. And now, and now, now we're, you know, we're taking a shortcut. We're getting back into things. We're ready to go. Yeah, Billy Ray, you're an idiot. <laughs> that dude's an idiot. Oh, he said he's from Norway. That's crazy, bro. I dig that. I dig that. I appreciate you for being here, man. Uh, let's see. Titan South says Callahan is going to develop a lethal Levis. Bro, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time, and he's going to he's going to put the right offensive line around him. He's going to give him the right. Uh, the right, the right tools, the right offensive line, the the better, faster, stronger weapons, um, the better defense, the the guys that actually want to be out there and not quit like Christian Fulton. Uh, we're gonna be ready to go, bro. So let people keep sleeping on us. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Dabaholic says Rand is the only reason we had the wins we did. Our defense would have been god awful, bro. We were playing guys like that nobody even heard of, like, because we were so banged up. Like, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. What's up, everybody? Uh, Victoria Owens says, no disrespect, Titans were trash this season. I mean, they were okay. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> What's your team? Big Dog says Vrabel is jobless, laughing my ass off. I mean, I don't think it's really funny. I don't think it's funny, but I think it's um, he just has a certain way, bro. He doesn't make adjustments, and people are good. people see that and know that. So it's, it's kind of is is like, do you really want to hire somebody that? that it has one way of going and when things are going against that or not working, he won't change. Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Titan South says, I think Rand is going to make legit signings. He has to, he has to, we need to bring in the right guys. We, we, we have to, bro. We have to, he said, go Browns. I'm done. I am done. He said, go Browns. Come on, man. You're killing me. Oh, bro. Yeah, I mean, we like I said, we got a lot of money to spend. Um, we still got to figure out who's going to be on the team, who's not. We still got to figure out the Derrick Henry thing. I think that's the main thing that needs to be figured out. That's the main thing that needs to be figured out. How do you guys feel about Derrick Henry? Do you guys want Derrick Henry to stay? Write Derrick Henry yes and Derrick Henry no in caps if you guys want him to stay or go. And I'll read it off. You could leave, you could, you could leave a reason why, too, if you want to. Aceto says, what the fuck are those glasses? Uh, hmm. They're, they're, uh, they're, uh, they're, some, they're, the, they're, the, they're Oakley's. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what answer you're looking for. I'm not sure if you're trying to be funny. Um, let's see. Henry, yes, yes. <laughs> Pumpkin slasher, no. Henry, bye-bye. Oh my God, man! Billy Ray says, "Yeah, he's just Billy's a troll. He just, yeah, he's 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 still living in he's still living in the '80s." Uh, Awaken says Henry is going to want too much. Do you think so? I think he needs to be realistic. Uh, Christian says, "Well, if we don't sign Henry, Micah says Derrick Henry to Cleveland." Oh my God, I don't I don't doubt it. Doubt it. Uh, let's see. Dog says Henry should stay. Uh, Stevie says, keep Henry the king, period. I, I mean, we, I, I would. I would. Uh, let's see, Void. Okay, Titania says, I'd bring him back if we fix our O-line. If not, I mean, look at... <laughs> you think we're not going to try to fix our O-line? You know what I mean? Come on, bro. You know we are. You know we are. Uh, Kat Nelson says, love Henry, but depends on how much it will cost us. So that's going to be, a, that's gonna be a, probably a big part of it, for sure. Steve says, where's the petition to rebrand the Titans of the Oilers full-time? If there was a petition to do that, I wouldn't sign it. I wouldn't sign it. That logo right there, that flaming T is better than the Oiler Tower. It, it just is. These I like these colors. I, I'm fine with these colors, but, but I mean, we got our swords on our, like, nah, bro, we're Titans, bro. I, I like using these as a throwback, as a, you know, as, as an homage, as a, as, as paying homage and, and everything like that as, as to the old guys, the old heads, you know, the people who started what, you know, this, this, what we got going on, but nah, not full time. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm a tennis, I'm a Tennessee Titans fan. The Oilers are, uh, the Oilers are a big part of us, man. But, but to go back and just leave the Titans, like, as it like, you know what I'm saying? Would be, would be a spit in the face to all the people who love the Tennessee Titans. So the main thing to do right now is to, enjoy us as titans and then when we, when we do bring out these oiler uniforms it'll mean that much more it'll mean that much more when we bring them out i love it man i'm very happy this team's gonna give us a lot of good memories i i just know it i can feel it coming uh christian says um if we don't sign henry we should get braylon allen from wisconsin and watch his stats he's flipping beast i mean i i mean yeah, he, I mean, what about, again, I mentioned Corum before. There are other options that we could go. I mean, I think Chestnut obviously should should get a look. He looks great every time we use him. Um, it's difficult, man. I don't even want to think about, like, Derrick Henry's still running at a top speed. Like, you know, he's still running for 150 yards and stiff-arming guys into the third row. It's weird, like, with no blocking. It's like, come on, bro. What are we? What are we really talking here? It's not like he slowed down. If he slowed down, I get it. Let him go. He didn't slow down. Titanus says, obviously, I'd choose, uh, I choose. could choose. I'd have Henry stay, but I also feel terrible for not getting him a ring. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Jabo Slim says, uh, you all right, buddy? 
Javo Slim says, uh, Derrick Henry, yes. You all right? You know how to get down? No, that's all right. I was just like, whoa. I was like, I didn't see him. Where did he go? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah you good, man. Yeah, I appreciate you guys, man. He says, do you like Steve McNair? Of course. Of course. Greatest franchise quarterback uh, in our history. Uh, I don't think that's even debatable. I, I don't think it's debatable. I don't think it's debatable, honestly. I love it, man. This is a good one right here. Uh, ah! Void says, I'm taking Troy Franklin in the second round. Hey, if y'all haven't seen Troy Franklin running from Oregon, bro, go watch his film. That guy runs fast as hell in pads. In pads, that guy can boom, bro. So Troy Franklin is one of the guys that I'd be very, very interested in if he's um, if he's available in the second round if we go tackle. Uh, I'm definitely on your side right there, bro. He's one of the guys. Awakens his spears. Uh, Titanus says, I also want Henry to get the franchise record, too. I know he's one, one year away from breaking that. We don't come on, bro. Crazy. What's up, everybody in the building? How we doing, man? How we doing? Uh, Chili says, Ty J Spears is a great running back. He jumped from 73 to 79 in Madden. He, he's going to jump higher than that next year. You'll see. You'll see. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. There's going to be team Broncos, Vikings, other teams maybe possibly wanting to go up there and get get that 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 other quarterback. And if we're not happy, bro, and we can, and, and again, this could be a big haul. It's not just like, oh, we're switching first rounders and you get a third rounder. No, 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 bro. It'd be a lot more back in return this year. It's costly. It's very costly to move up. So if you want to move up and get that quarterback or take a chance at that, you think Jaden Daniels or fucking JJ is worth it? Hand over the fatty out, amigo. It would be our time. But again, a lot of people don't even want to trade back. They just want to take whoever's there, not, not realize we don't have a third round pick. If we're not happy at seven, dude, it's okay to move back if the price is right, bro. I think that, that should be everybody's mindset to be like, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I love it, man. Uh, Micah says Titans just need a good quarterback to build around. I mean, you need a, you just need a good hug. You you need a good hug and a friend. That's what that's all you need, and then you'll be a lot happier instead of going logoless on on uh, Titans YouTube pages at this time of day just to troll. That sounds like a miserable life. I can only imagine waking up with with a with a with a channel that I don't don't even have a picture on it just to go to some guy's channel uh, that you may not like, may like whatever, and just to leave a comment like that. <laughs> I can imagine being you, bro. You have you probably are so lonely. Jesus, poor guy. You poor lonely man. You're one of those Cheeto milk dippers, aren't you? You dipping your Cheetos in milk too, aren't you, weirdo? <laughs> you fucking goofball. I love it. I love it. Uh, Cammy says best wing flavor. Best wing flavor is buffalo. Uh, mango habanero is uh, good too when it's when it's made right. I'll give you that. Um, I like. I, there's a lot of. I mean, there's so many different uh, types of hot sauces that they you know different type of variety and shit like that um so it, it, it is what it is garlic wings are good as fuck too garlic wings i get these garlic wings over at the uh the fortune cookie spot this family owned uh, chinese place man that they've been there since i was in elementary school and that shit is popping i'm gonna have to do a, uh, a a game day eats for that for that chinese spot man that shit is so delicious bro they pile food on that oh my god bro Holy hell. Yeah, we're going to have to do a game day eats over there. The game day eats episode. What do you guys think about that? Going around eating all of San Diego, <laughs> finding out the best game day eat spots. I love it. Fixing Benjamin says W hat. This hat is fire, bro. Look at that shit. This hat is, this hat is clean, bro. This hat is clean. I appreciate that, man. Uh, Joe says Titans are burning ship. Everyone wants off. Yeah, that, I remember my first beer ridiculous some of you some of you guys are adorable it's so funny you guys argue like you just got your lunchbox stolen in fourth grade it's ridiculous it's so crazy oh my god you deserve a gunther slap holy shit 
Uh, Chili YouTube says, call me a stupid bandwagon Titans fan, but I could not watch any Titans games or I have never been to their stadium. I don't even know how to talk to you, bro. Some of the stuff you're saying, I don't even know if you're a troll or you're just fucking with us. Uh, Micah says, JJ McCarthy would be a good fit, another troll. Um, but yet they're giving us watch time, giving us giving us subscribers, giving us likes, giving us those views, uh, and bringing in other people to, to help find this channel. Uh, so you guys think you're not, do you guys think you're being funny trolling and all that stuff? You're really not. You're just helping the channel out and uh, helping bring in all those new people that are hanging out with us, man. Like I said, this channel has been growing like crazy, like crazy. Shout out to all of the real ones. Shout out to all the real ones. Wait until the next season starts. Wow, those watch party play-by-plays are going to be insane. Insane, bro. Can't wait. I'm so fucking excited. Uh, Joe says, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? This is an eye visor. This is a streamer's eye visor, okay? You're not a streamer. You wouldn't understand that. You know that fucking light in my eye? Doesn't bother me at all. Doesn't bother me at all. But you wouldn't understand that because you don't stream. It's an eye visor, not sunglasses. Sure, I can use them for the sun, of course. Of course. They're fucking bulletproof and I can breathe under the water with them. Of course. Like, <laughs> it's hilarious, bro. Some of you guys are some of you guys are funny. Okay, where are we at, though? Uh, he says Cyclops swag, man. See, people know what's up. Uh, Titanus says, Billy Ray, did you know Levis had 2K yards with only six games? Hey, man, let that's what's keep preaching. We got we got like 10 minutes left, fellas. We got like 10 minutes left. Get those final Q&As in, man. We going, man. We going at it. Hit that subscribe button and remember to join us daily. We do live streams all the time. We're continuing to grow. We're on that road to uh, 14,000 subscribers. Continue to subscribe, man. Continue to subscribe. Again, if you guys are feeling generous, money sign Titan Anderson at Cash App, money sign Titan Anderson. Everything goes towards channel upgrades. And always remember, always remember to tighten up. Here we go, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Fixing Benjamin, not a Titans fan, but you're fit fire. I appreciate that, bro. Uh, Void says, uh, at Joe, it's just cool blue drip. It's just people are, hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. So you guys know what's up. He said too many trolls. Hey, man, we're going to talk to the trolls. We'll talk to them a little bit. We'll we'll, we'll talk to them a little bit. Don't think we're going to run away from every, I mean, we're not going to read every troll's comment. They're not worth it, but it's all right. We're doing something right, aren't we? I love it, bro. Uh, he says, Titans are not contenders, man. I guess we'll wait and see, right? Make sure you subscribe. We'll, we'll wait and see together. We'll wait and see together. He says, you're right. I got a real job. Yeah, watching TA. They're paying you to give me views, ain't they? Ain't they? You watching Titan Anderson do his thing, huh? You watching TA do his thing, huh? Over there dipping your Cheetos in milk. Don't don't come on, bro. Over there with your Captain Crunch. Cool playing. Cool playing. Uh, let's see. What do we got, man? I appreciate you guys. Uh, B. Wow says, yo, what do you think about Lad McC uh, McClunkley? Hey, bro, I'm, I'm okay with him. I don't, I just don't think like he, he doesn't scare me with his speed or anything like that. He's definitely not super slow. Um, wouldn't touch him, uh, unless all those, unless the second rounders, like if we take tackle in the first round or whatever, and he's available in the second round, if he's like really the only option and all those quick, fast guys are gone, sure. I mean, we're going to need weapons, and, and he does make plays. You can't take that from him. Um, so it, it just depends. It honestly just depends, bro. Um, we just got to wait and see which direction we go in and then, and, and see if we go uh, left tackle in the first round. We got to wait and see what's left in the second round, what receivers are left, and then we'll pick and choose from there. I love it, man. Got a lot of Chiefs fans in here. I Means we got a lot of fake bandwagons, huh? Fake fan bandwagons in in in, in here. I like it, man. I like it. I'm, uh, congratulations on watching your first championship or your Super Bowl. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Uh, the Willie Tro says, "How uh, hey TA, how far would you be willing to trade back for the right price?" I'm willing to. Tra I, I just don't want to trade out of the first round. I'm going to keep it like that. I don't want to trade out too far to where we can't even at least get Thomas Junior. Like, because again, I'm not big on Rome. I'm not. Uh, I would rather have Worthy than Rome, personally, because of the fact we can use him as punt returner and, and a crazy. I know we can use him crazy in crazy ways on, the, on in our offense. Um, I'm just not sold on Rome. Again, if we get him, I'll fucking support the hell out of him. I just I don't think he's gonna he's gonna be what we need to to go where we want to go with pick seven. No, fuck no. It's 
crazy to me. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. At least I, I don't know, bro. You guys let me, you guys let me know in the chat section. I think I, that's, a, I don't know, bro. It's crazy to me. He says, new subscriber, you boy. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that like button. Continue to subscribe. And uh, again, man, follow us. We also have Twitter, Titan Anderson One, uh, Facebook, and a bunch of other stuff. You can find us too. We don't use too much. Um, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Everybody out there, everybody out there showing support to the channel. We all appreciate you, bro. We all appreciate you. He said, my most hated quarterback in the NFL is Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner, man, that guy, hate him or love him, dude, was a beast. He said, Lad McConkley runs a 4 3. Yeah, but it's just, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I, I, when you watch him, like, like when I watch him on film, you guys, I see a guy who looks really good. He looks smooth and stuff. Um, I don't look into 40 yard dashes like that too much because uh, a lot of the people, like, you'll see running pads. It doesn't look like they run like that. Uh, you know, uh, people run different when they're in their underwear than when they do with, when they do when they're in their pads. And um, McConkley, he does just doesn't seem like a guy you're going to really send on go routes. Um, he doesn't seem like that type of guy. Not that he can't be. I'm just not too big on him. Again, if he's there in the second round and 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 all of like like Franklin and those type of guys are completely gone worthy and all those guys, those speedy guys that are real fast guys that can be used in many ways and still dominate. If those guys are gone, sure, I'll take him and take and take a chance. But I just Georgia is very difficult to judge. Very Georgia is very difficult to judge. They get all the top recruits. They have all day to throw the ball. They have the best defensive players. Every offensive lineman they have is 485 pounds. Like, I mean, it's it's so hard to to and they have weapons everywhere, so you can't double team anyone. Everyone's one on one. So it's kind of hard to tell how good he really is. And, and if we get him, I'm gonna be the first person to say he's great. <laughs> uh I'm, yeah, I'm just I don't know, man. It's, I'm just not the biggest on him. John K says dope jersey. I appreciate that, man. We got that that captain patch, Derek Henry. We got the captain's patch, Titan Anderson jersey, Oilers jersey as well, man. So appreciate that. Valeria Reyes and Manny Reyes says, nice hat. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Alan Darby says, TA, what up? I just got here. I had to audition for The Voice online, and they invited me to the next season audition because I sung to them Titans Up. Is that for, is that like a, is that for real? Mm -hmm. uh, Alan Darby says that he sung for The Voice and he did good or something. You're going to have to make me an intro then, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to make me an intro. Hit up the auto-tune, throw on some like rock, like, kind of like rock, rockish rap beat and, 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 and I'll write the lyrics for you, bro, and we'll get something going. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Mariano says, somebody of Titans Mexico. Hey! Shout out to the Mexican Titans fans. Dude, hey, they are deep as fuck in Mexico. There is so many Mexican fans Mex in Mexico City and all throughout, man. Shout out to all the Mexico uh, Titans fans, bro. They hold it down over there. They have fucking group meetings at headquarters and shit. Shout out to all of them, bro. Oh my god, I can only imagine how good the food is over at those tailgates. Are you fucking kidding me? Shout out to you guys, bro. Shout out to you. Uh, hey man, get it, get it fine. We got three more minutes, you guys. Three more minutes, you guys. Get your final questions in. We got to close it down. Uh, eventually, when we start having these. Uh, Eventually, when we start having these rooms full, 100 plus people, it's coming. It's coming. Trust me, it's coming. We almost hit 90 today. Um, then we're going to continue these and extend them. But right now, we're going to keep it at the one hour mark and keep everybody happy. Uh, everybody seemingly likes the live streams and is having a good time. And that's the, that's the thing. Whether you're a Titans fan, whether you're a fan of Elon Musk's new Cybertruck, whether you're a fan of swimming on Lake Placid, it doesn't fucking matter. This right here is the place to be. Right here. Tennessee Titans NFL football content live stream. I love it, man. I love it. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all so much, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Everybody in the building, remember, man, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell on for notification alerts, and, and you'll be notified every time we go live, man. Join the channel Discord before we get out of here. Join the channel Discord, man. We are live all the time, and we talk on the channel Discord every single day, all day. There's always somebody posting something, NFL or food related or other sports or something man we got it all over there so make sure you guys check that out as well man uh alan darby says ta i can do that for real but i i sing big band and jazz like 
Nat King Cole, Mike. Dude, I don't know what that is, bro. You know who Nat King Cole is? I don't know. You know who that is? Yeah. Okay, then she, my wife knows who that is. I'll check it out. You're going to have to uh, message me on Twitter, uh, Alan Darby, Titan Anderson 1, man. Let's get something going, bro. Get my intro from a subscriber? Come on, bro. If we got any, if we got any of those guys who can do electric guitars and come up with a sick ass beat, send it my way, man. I'm telling you, bro. Excellent, man. It's okay. We're getting ready to close down. He's not feeling good. Well, you guys, we hit that one hour mark. Guess what? We had 239 freaking votes. The goal was only to reach 100 votes. 239 people voted. 240 now. Here we go. Should the Titans trade back in the 2024 NFL draft? 47% yes. 31% no. 22% unsure. Looks like people are okay if the Tennessee Titans don't have the right guy at number seven. Put it in the comment section when this thing ends. Should the Titans trade back? Yes, no, why? Maybe so. I want to know every reason why. Put it in the comment section. I love you guys. I'm Titan Anderson. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. I love y'all. Let's go. Wow.